everyone, it's Rose. And uh, today I am going to be doing an unboxing from Everyday E-Crafts. And I have a few things that I think that you're gonna really enjoy. Uh, today also uh, I have a little something different. Uh, this is an email that one of my patrons sent me and she asked me to share it on my channel. And so I'm going to do it. Uh, you guys know I don't do this often or ever before, uh, but uh, I'm doing it today. So I'm just going to read the email. I'm going to put it up on the screen so that you can read along with me or you don't have to read along, whatever you want to do. Uh, and, uh, and then we'll go back to uh, normal video, okay? So, hey Rose, just thought I'd mention this to you. It touched me so much that I was moved to tears when I heard this. There is another YouTube creator that paints called Lisette Crafts and Tells. Here's a link to her channel. And I'm going to put that link up in the top right hand corner of this video right around here. She is a 44 year old Dutch woman living in France and she speaks perfect English. Her and her husband run a bed and breakfast. She is such a kind, warm person. If you haven't watched her channel, I think you'd love her spirit. She just started doing diamond painting on her channel about four months ago. I've been watching her since she first started. She only has 853 subscribers so far, and she said 80% of her viewers are from the US and Canada. She's the only other YouTube DP creator that I have personally interacted with besides you. We've emailed back and forth once. I really enjoy her personality and excitement for diamond painting. She likes to do really big paintings. She's working on a Josephine wall right now that has 220 colors. That's crazy. It's what got me started watching her. I was intrigued by the size of the project that she was taking on. And I bet you that I know exactly where she got that diamond painting. There is a diamond painting Deutschland uh, and they sell humongous diamond paintings with some of them have over 300 colors if you guys are interested. Um, anyway, back to the email. She announced today that she's doing a 24 hour diamond painting challenge on April 16th where she will diamond paint for 24 hours straight to raise funds for the art therapy project in New York City that supplies troubled youth with art supplies as part of their therapy. She is trying to raise $750 to buy Diamond Art Club paintings and supplies. DAC has already gifted her four paintings to kick off her efforts. I was moved to tears to see someone from Europe wanting to help kids in the US. So touching. I would love to see her blow her goal of $750 out of the water. I think it would be amazing if the DP community creators got behind her and supported her efforts to get the word out about her challenge. She has put together a very good five minute video explaining her challenge. And I'm linking that one up in the corner as well. And she set up a donation page. I'll put that link to the donation page down below in the description to this video. She's asking people to donate $3 to buy a bag of diamond painting drills. No pressure at all, but would you consider mentioning her on your channel or including her video in one of your segments and putting links to her video and donation page? Or could you possibly contact other YouTube DP creators you are close to and ask them to help too, possibly to get the word out? I think she mentioned in her last video that she has reached out to Mindy's Diamond Moments for support too. I think it's so awesome what she's doing. I am excited for her and I really hope that she makes her goal. What a great cause. Thanks, Tammy. So Tammy, I'm doing everything that you asked me to do in that email. 
Uh, I am using this video to reach out to all of my viewers and to all the other creators who watch my channel. And uh, if you're another creator, I would invite you to check out the links and uh, help to support Lizette in her goal of reaching $750 and in Tammy's goal of blowing that out of the water uh, with more contributions. Uh, so if you can pass the word on to your viewers, that would be fantastic. And um, I'm all for helping people to diamond paint and for contributing to good causes. And so Tammy, thanks for raising this one. And uh, to all of you, I hope that you'll help uh, on April 16th. Okay, everybody. So uh, now let's get into the unboxing for Everyday E-Crafts and let's see what I got today. So today uh, we're opening 777, 778 and 779 and I can tell you that two of these are cheap and cheerful, the two smaller ones. So let's get into them. So this first one, 777, is uh, a theme, is on a theme. Um, which before I started diamond painting, I wouldn't have known that this was a thing for me. Uh, but it is birds. And I have found that I really like bird diamond paintings. And so here is a bird diamond painting that I found on the Everyday eCraft website. Now, this one here, uh, flattened out very, very nicely. And I can tell you that this one here, the uh, SKU number, I'm not sure if you can read that, but the SKU number is 469671. So what this tells me, because this is an old style pixel print round drill diamond painting. And so what this tells me is that you can't tell from the SKU number whether something is going to be old or new style. Uh, I think in the last unboxing video I did, um, I kind of came to the same conclusion, uh, but now it's been, it's being confirmed. Uh, it, it doesn't seem to be a factor of the SKU number. It seems to be a factor of where a particular diamond painting got printed. So for those of you who wonder, how can you tell new style from old style? That's a toughie. You might not be able to tell until you actually get the diamond painting. So this one here, I call Bird in Bush. Uh, it is advertised as 30 by 40. That is the canvas size. And um, it is less than $10 US. no idea how many sneezes that was. I often cut out my sneezes, but when it's a lot, I figure you guys might be entertained by it. Okay, so uh, this is uh, 24 and about three quarters centimeters. So we're gonna call that 25. And it is 34 and a half, so we're gonna call it 35. So 25 by 35, and it has 20 colors. Okay, and um, so here is the kit for it. It is a standard kit, but it does come with a few bags, which I'm always happy about. Now, um, so this diamond painting, uh, it looks not bad. It doesn't look as nice as the image on the website, unfortunately. But as we pull back from it, it that's not a bad looking diamond painting. Uh, I just, I do wish it had been done in the new style because if it had been, this would look amazing. Um, okay, let's take a look at the legend. And we'll look at the drill area next. So this is the simple type of legend, numbers one to nine, and then letters of the alphabet. Uh, now they have not put the letters of the alphabet in order, which suggests to me that they choose the letters to make sure that they don't um, 
they're not confusing on the canvas, which is very nice. So when we look at the canvas, uh, it is very, very clear. So this diamond painting is going to be a pleasure to work on. It does have runs of colors in different areas. Uh, so it's not like confetti everywhere, but there is a, like you're not gonna be able to do long uh, periods of time just drilling a single color and finishing an area. There's not a lot of color blocking. Uh, but all of the symbols are absolutely clear. This is beautifully printed. Yeah, really, really beautiful print job on this. And um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy doing it. So, I mean, there again is the original image which is very pretty. You kind of lose some of that detail with the pixel print and with only 20 colors. Pixel print on a diamond painting like this would be okay if there were more colors. Uh, like even 25 colors, 24 colors would make a difference with this. Um, but I still think it's pretty nice. I'm surprised that the branches and everything came out as well as they did. I wasn't sure that they would for uh, if this was pixel print. Because, of course, when I ordered it, I hoped that it was new style. But I knew it might be pixel print. So, yeah, okay. So, there we go. Uh, I'm going to get the drills ready and we're going to look at the drills next. Okay, so we are supposed to have 20 colors, and we have 20 colors. Uh, there are no DMC numbers marked on the bags, but the numbers are marked on the canvas. So I'm happy about that. And so let's take a look at these. And while we are looking at these, I will uh, show you any ugly diamond paintings that I happen to have. And if I have received any finished projects from viewers uh, that are of everyday e-craft diamond paintings, then I will show those at some point in this video as well. So do send me your everyday e-craft finishes and other finishes from stores that I've worked with, and I would be more than happy to show those for you. Um, I am not going to be from now on uh, if you've sent them already as of today today is April 5th anything that I receive after today that is not a diamond painting that I've ever done uh, or opened or from a store that I work with uh, and those are the seven stores that are listed uh, in the Rose Tries information down below uh, in the description to this video, uh, then I won't I won't be showing those anymore because it is a lot of work to include uh, diamond paintings from stores that I've never worked with. Like it's it, it takes time, and I I want to diamond paint and I want to do my other crafts. So uh, from now on, I'll only be showing viewer finishes of projects that you got in one of the seven I think it's seven stores that I work with. Um, okay. So, um, there you go. Those drills looked good to me. I didn't see anything that concerned me. So I'm going to put them away and I am going to get ready to show you the next item. Okay, everybody. So this is number 777, Bird in Bush, 35 by 25 drill area, done in the old pixel print style, but it still looks nice. Uh, so I would have to say everything about it is good. I'm happy with it. So next up, oops, we have number 778, and this uh, SKU number is 470779. Let's see what we get with this. We already know that we can't tell from the SKU number whether something is going to be old or new style, so it is completely a factor of the factory. So, let's see. Oh, this one's new style. Oh, and I'm glad it is. Oh my goodness, the detail on this is incredible. 
Wow. Okay, I'm going to flatten it out a little bit. Uh, it came through shipping fine. It's actually uh, not a thick, stiff canvas. So these folds are going to uh, flatten out nicely when I've got this in storage. Um, it won't be necessary to... Um, it will not be necessary to iron this. Uh, I might still do it, but it's definitely not going to be necessary. Whoops, almost knocked over my coffee. There was a little um, uh, bubble of air in between the canvas and the cover plastic. Uh, so this last little nailing crease here didn't flatten out as nicely as I'd like. Okay, so now it's nice and flat. Pretty flat, I'd say. And look at this glorious thing. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. So this I call Watermelon Rooster. I think it's probably called Watermelon Rooster on the site. Uh, I loved it because it reminds me of a Celestial Seasonings um, tea box. Uh, I love the art on Celestial Seasonings boxes. And uh, this just reminds me of that style of art. Uh, and it's roosters. And I love roosters. Now, I don't usually buy diamond paintings that have buildings in them, uh, usually. Sometimes I do if the main thing is a building, uh, but I don't usually buy like bucolic scenes. I like city scenes. Um, this I, I love though, because rooster and watermelons and wagon and then the little farmhouses here. So uh, yeah, I gotta say, I love everything about this and because it's done in the new style the detail on the houses is just amazing so what we get with this kit is an absolutely standard kit which is all you need now this is advertised as 40 by 50 um and i believe it's 10.99 us so it's just over the the limit for cheap and cheerful yeah, it's $10.99 US. Okay, so let's measure it and then uh, we'll take a look at the canvas and the legend and all of that stuff. But oh, I am liking what I see here. I'm pretty much always happy when I get uh, new style diamond paintings now, which doesn't mean that I'm not happy if I don't get new style. It's just that new style always looks better. So, um, so there's that. Okay, so this is exactly 35 across and up and down. It is 44 and a half, I think. Yeah, 44 and a half. So we're gonna call it 35 by 45. Okay, so um, yeah, wow. I am just loving this diamond painting. All right, let's take a look at it close up. And so let's go to 1X. So we have um, mainly letters. All letters, okay, all letters with DMC numbers. And let's see how those letters look on the canvas, but I'm sure they're gonna look fine because that's the way they look when they're new style. Uh, yeah, this is beautifully clear just gorgeous look at the detail of the rope that's frayed at the end you can see all of the threads of that rope that's what i love about new style is all of that incredible detail and here this little tree uh, they've got all the branches that you can see drawn in between the uh, drills that will go there. It makes all the difference in the world. Wow. Oh, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. And there is quite a bit of color blocking here. 
and yet still look at this. We have really, really beautifully clear symbols everywhere. I adore this diamond painting. It's going to go really fast with all that color blocking. And yet, look at the face on that rooster. Wow. Oh my goodness, this is so great. And then as we pull back, how gorgeous is that? That is absolutely stunning. I love it. Love it. Oh, such a humongous win. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to get the drills ready and we're going to look at those next. Okay, so we are supposed to have 24 colors, and we do. And oh my god, look at these colors. Hold on, I gotta step back. Look at these colors. They are magnificent. Such brilliant, bright, lively colors. Oh my goodness, love it. Okay, so let's take a look at them up close and personal. And while we're doing that, I am going to talk about the Rose Tries program. Even though none of the diamond paintings today are Rose Tries items that people have sent me and asked me to try for them, I just want to remind everybody that uh, if you are shopping on one of the stores that are listed on the screen right now, at the bottom of the screen, uh, and you come across a diamond painting that you really, really love, but you're not sure if it's exactly what you want. Uh, you know, maybe you're really fussy and you want the new style. Or maybe you want the new style because it's a smaller size diamond painting. Or maybe the description doesn't tell you whether it's round or square. Or maybe there's no picture of the canvas. Or maybe there's something else about it. You know, you're just not sure if the size is going to do it justice. Whatever. You can send me an email at ramblingrosedp at gmail.com. And uh, let me know. Uh, you have to send the actual link to the diamond painting. Not just a picture of the screen. You have to send me the actual link. Uh, and um, I'm sorry if you don't know how to send me a link, uh, but I don't have time to go searching for diamond paintings that you send me pictures of. So um, anyway, if you send me the link, I will get back to you and let you know whether I will try that diamond painting for you. Uh, do tell me what it is about the diamond painting that leaves you unsure about whether you want to get it or not, uh, because that'll help me decide uh, if I will try it for you. Um, yeah, and then uh, I'll do a full review, just like I've done on the two that we've seen uh, earlier in this video, and like I'm going to do on the last one in this video. Okay, so these drills all looked fantastic, and I am going to put them away, and I will be right back. Okay, so this is uh, Watermelon Rooster number 778, 35 by 45, uh, 24 colors, Done in the new style, it is fantastic. I absolutely adore this one. What a great buy this is. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at the last diamond painting that we have today. And this one here is on a theme that I have been uh, trying fairly, well, I've tried a few of them. And this is a special shape diamond painting. Uh, it is not a mandala. It is one of the Noble Ladies, uh, and that is what this one is called. It's called Noble Lady, and it's one of the flapper diamond paintings. Um, okay, this one has gaps in between the plastic and the canvas, and I don't want to put um, creases in the canvas that aren't there. So I want to make sure that before I roll this back on itself, I eliminate those air pockets because they would cause uh, creases. 
as long as this is perfectly flat with no air in these mailing creases, uh, it'll flatten out beautifully when you roll it back on itself. And so that's what I'm doing now. You can roll it back on, your, on itself or you could do something like this. Sometimes I do a combination of the two. Okay, so that's good enough for uh, horseshoes. Okay, uh, so this is uh, a flapper. Uh, she's called Noble Lady. This is number 779. And um, this is less than $10 US. I just loved this image. And I thought this would probably look really, really nice as a partial special shapes um diamond painting and uh and so i thought why not get it so here it is and um oh look at the kit we get we get tons of bags and we get a four placer which i can't imagine well i suppose you could use it in some places uh but comes with a four placer and then the the rest of the standard kit which is very nice you don't usually get a four placer with a special shapes diamond painting so i'm surprised about that but there are some straight lines that you could use um, a four placer on. So uh, at least I think you could. Depends on how close together the drills are. Okay, and then here we have the drills. Now, let's see what the image area for this is so that if you wanted to frame it, you'll know what size frame to get. Uh, so it is 25 centimeters across from where the printed area starts and ends. And it is just shy of 35 centimeters up and down on the printed area. Now this one has a lot of different special shapes. This one here has 15 special shapes, which is a lot. Um, so we're gonna take a look at the canvas right now. And then we're going to take a look at the beautiful drills. Oh, and I just realized you can't see all of her. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. Isn't she stunning? She really is quite lovely. Okay. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, and I like the fact that they give you identification numbers for the different drills, because that means that I can put those away. Um, with other special shape drills of the same kind, because sometimes there are just really subtle differences between two different uh, special shape drills that you might get in two separate kits or even in the same kit. And so if you're able to put them away according to um, a particular code, then that really helps to make sure that you're putting like drills with like. And the canvas is super, super clear. It's just beautifully printed. Everything is very legible. What a beautiful face she's got. I'm thinking that's gonna be a gorgeous pearl necklace. Beautiful. Oh, wow, yeah. I This is gonna be so much fun to work on. Oh, she's so beautiful and elegant. I love it. Okay, uh, I'm going to get the drills ready, and we're going to look at those next. Okay, so we are supposed to have um, 15 different kinds of drills, and we've got up to 15 here, and it goes 15, 14, 13, and then 10, but that's because we've got 11 and 12 in separate bags. So I'm just counting to make sure I've got all the drills that I'm supposed to. Yes, I do. So let's take a look at these. Um, so we have these gorgeous red crystal drills and they look absolutely perfect. Okay, so I see one that's got a scratched bottom. Uh, okay, two that have scratched bottoms. But other than that, they look great. And then we have these beautiful green crystal drills. And then these gorgeous fuchsia crystal drills. Oh, these 
brilliant orange crystal drills. I don't know what it is, but I love orange crystal drills. And then this is a garnet color, also crystal. And then some brown crystal drills. And then here we have a dark green, like an olive, dark, dark green crystal drills. And, oh, then we have some, maybe, maybe that's not garlic, uh, garnet, rather. Maybe that's like a deep, deep, deep pink, because these definitely look like garnet. And then we have some yellow AB and some white AB, beautiful. And then we have these gorgeous medium-sized pearls and we have small pearls with that nacreous coating on them beautiful and then we have these um, gold foil covered uh, seed shaped crystal drills and then the other two bags that we have we have these teensy teensy tiny what i call petal drills and those will go on her ring so we just need enough to put on her ring i don't think there are any others no there are no others and then we have one um of these round uh faceted um crystal drills with the uh, sort of AB type coating, not not AB, I can't remember what it's called. Um, I used to call it polychromatic. I don't call it that anymore. Um, and this goes in her headband. That's the T there that goes right there. So even though we only need one of them, they sent us two just in case something goes wrong. Uh, where's that other one? There we go. We've got the two there. So yeah, this is gorgeous. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Um, so that is it. This is Noble Lady and number 779, 25 by 35, 15 different kinds of special drills. And there is a lot of coverage on her stole and in her hair and stuff like that. So this will be a fun one to do, and it'll look beautiful when it's finished. Okay, I'm going to put these drills away, and then we're going to do a review of uh, everything. Okay, everybody, so let's do a quick review of the three diamond paintings that I opened today. So number 779, Noble Lady, Special Shapes, 15 different kinds of drills, it's absolutely beautiful and I the drills looked great and I think this is going to be wonderful to work on number 778 uh, watermelon rooster done in the new style round drills uh, it's 35 by 45 and it is gorgeous I absolutely love this and it looks fantastic absolutely fantastic love it love it love it um this oh geez those colors are just amazing and then the first one we open today is number 777 bird in a bush this is also round drills it's done in the pixel style so uh, we don't have all the same detail drawn on as we would have for a new style diamond painting but it still turns out pretty well. It's not as detailed as it would have been if it were done in the new style, but it is still, I think, it still looks pretty nice. And the canvas on all three of these are magnificent. The printing is absolutely top notch. And so uh, drilling any one of these diamond paintings is gonna be a pleasure. Uh, and that includes this one. I don't put my diamond paintings up on the wall yet. I've got a few special shapes things that I've put up, but I haven't put up any diamond paintings yet. I will, I just haven't yet. Um, because for me, the most important thing is actually working on them. 
And I know that there are a lot of you who also don't frame and hang your diamond paintings. And so if what you're looking for is just a really nice drilling experience, the, any one of these diamond paintings is going to give you a really nice drilling experience. There's no question about it. Uh, the drills looked great for this. The canvas is perfectly clear. Same here and same here. So, um, yeah, I, I would say that all of these are terrific and I'm very, very happy with all of them for different reasons because they're all different diamond paintings, like they're all done in a different style. And uh, yet they all make me very happy. And I hope this video has made you very happy. And um, so I wanna thank Tammy for um, bringing Lizette's channel to my attention and her 24 hour uh, DP marathon that she's going to do on April 16th. Uh, check out the links. I will include them down below in the description to this video in case you didn't click on them uh, on the video earlier. And um, do consider contributing to Lizette's cause. And um, again, to my diamond painting uh, YouTube creators, um, colleagues, I would say, you know, consider showcasing Lizette and her, uh, her fundraising activity on your channel as well. And so I want to thank all of my patrons, all of my viewers, and all of my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber yet, please take a moment, click the subscribe button, and um, click for notifications so that you always know when I publish a new diamond painting video. And with that, my friends, I am going to wish you a great day, and I will come back and you hopefully will come back and visit with me tomorrow. So take care, everybody. I love you. Bye-bye for now.